All right, welcome back. Really, she doesn't need any introduction at all. And especially, you, you start to getting her laughing, and you'll know that laugh. <laughs> oh, jeez. There it is. Here we go already. There it is. Uh, her name is Sandy Sharkey. She's a broadcaster. She's been broadcasting for quite some time now. You can hear her on the morning show on Boom 99.7. And she has a very, very successful photography uh, business going on right now. Well, thank and you. for the most part, you enjoy taking pictures of horses. I do. Um, I'm a huge horse fanatic. Yeah. And uh, when I was a little girl, my uncle gave me a book on Sable Island horses. Mm -hmm. And for my entire life after that, I wanted to go to Sable Island to see these wild horses. So thankfully, an amazing Canadian company called Adventure Canada in 2014 was able to get the permission required from Parks Canada to do an expedition to Sable Island. Mm. And my good friend Michelle Valberg, who is an amazing yeah. photographer who needs no introduction, she's amazing. Um, she encouraged me to go on that ship. She told me about it. The rest is history. I went to Sable Island and it was a dream come true for me to be not only in one of the most amazing areas of Canada that a lot of people don't get to go to, but to be surrounded by wild horses mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, that are incredible testaments to being sturdy and and, and fight for survival because those wild horses have been there since the 1700s. Wow. Mm -hmm. Surviving there. Um, and there's a handful of people that are on the island, but they're uh, scientists, researchers, meteor meteorologists. I think we're showing some of my images. Okay. Yeah, so I, pictures, really I ha beautiful. happily have brought my uh, camera to Sable Island with me, and um, I'm trying to portray their wildness. And I think that one of the most amazing things about these horses is. Um, how they have managed to survive completely free of any intervention, interference from mankind. Isn't that beautiful? So mankind is completely hands off. Um, so the other thing that people say to me when we talk about Sable Island and the horses is, wow, that's amazing you got to go because you can never go there. No one can get there. So I wanted to talk to people today to let them know that you can get there. So why do people think that? Why is there that misconception that you can't get to Sable Island? It is a very, very remote place that okay. is very uh, subject to very harsh conditions. Mm -hmm. It's 300 kilometers um, from Halifax in the in Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. It's shaped like a smile, like a crescent, mm. and it's sand. It is sand that is just beaten down, beaten down. Uh, in the middle of the island, though, there is foliage and freshwater ponds for the horses. Um, but it was known as the graveyard of the Atlantic because of all the ships that were wrecked getting there, which is one of the reasons why it's so difficult to get there is because all of a sudden you're in the Atlantic Ocean and then boom, all of a sudden there's the sandbar. So the reason that um, I want to tell people they can get there is because Adventure Canada is the only company that has been given the permission to go there this year again. And in June there's a trip coming up. Okay. It's, uh, it's an expedition that is uh, an incredible ship filled with like-minded people. There are scientists, writers, artists, interesting people. So while you're sailing to oh, Sable Island, you're being entertained, you're having a great time, you're, you're learning. Um, it was referred to one time, the Sable Island ship, uh, the Adventure Canada ship, excuse me, as uh, a floating university. Mm -hmm. So you have all kinds of information that you are happy to learn about the wildlife, the marine animals, the horses, of course. So the people that are traveling to them, like you said, there are marine biologists and all sorts of researchers and scientists and artists. Um, are they going there to study? Like, are there other um, animals on the island? Obviously, besides just the horses, there's... There are. And yeah. thank you for yeah. pointing that out, because all I ever talk about is the horse. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to imagine the island itself as this sort of this horse utopia, but I'm wondering, are there other animals there as well? That's a really good question. Yeah. Yes, there are. Yeah. Uh, the answer is that, uh, in fact, the largest population of gray seals okay. is on the island. There are 50,000 gray seals that breed on the island. There's a bird called the Ipswich Sparrow. Mm. The only place this bird lives in the world is on Sable Island. Wow. There are all kinds of uh, plants that are only indigenous to Sable Island. So it, just because it is so remote and so difficult to get to, um, that's why I wanted to let people, because people are like, oh, you can go? Yeah. And this is, um, uh, this is of course, by Michelle Valberg. These horses are uh, spectacular. 
and Adventure Canada is the company that's taking people there, and it's coming up in June. So, so, so how many expect? Oh, sorry, uh, go ahead. No, but are you on? Are you going this time I am. again? Okay. There's no way I wouldn't be on that ship. I did, I would. <laughs> <laughs> if it left without me, I would actually get my 9.9 .9 Johnson outboard and just <laughs> go really fast and hop on the ship if I could. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely going and happy to you know answer any questions that anyone has about the trip because I did it once before and I will be back on in June. So how many expeditions a year do they do, or is it just Adventure Canada does trips, uh, amazing trips that are um, in this brochure. Uh, Newfoundland, uh, they go to Greenland, so they do a number of trips. Mm -hmm. But to Sable Island, it's Sable only Island one, once a year. One, they didn't do one last year. There was okay. none last year. Wow. So they come up. When they come up, I want to let people know this year it is the only sail to Sable Island. So, so then, so two quick questions. Uh, if people want to obviously be a part of this expedition, who do they contact and who do they contact? How do they find out more about your photos? Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Dylan. Yes. <laughs> because you take you so many beautiful such great photos, the, right? Um, yes. Uh, so for going to the Sable Island uh, excursion mm -hmm. with Adventure Canada, just go to adventurecanada.ca. It's mm -hmm. that easy. And um, if you want to contact me, I do have brochures to give out. For me personally, my website is just sandysharkey.com. And I have lots of horses on there from Sable Island. That's and amazing. beautiful pictures. We Thank saw a few you. of them there. Just beautiful. Thank horses you. in the wild. That's got to be like a photographer's dream. They're rock stars. Yeah. I love photographing bands uh -huh. and horses. And horses. And they have a lot of similarities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all rock stars. Well, your husband sort of has hair like a horse. He does. <laughs> the, the mane, right? Hair That's like a horse. Beautiful, beautiful, like beautiful, like beautiful horse. mane. That's the only thing um, he has in common with the horse. And also, whenever you see these horses, it's the song uh, by Gino Vanelli, Wild Horses, stick in your head the whole time. <gasps> no! What, did I ruin oh. it for you? Speaking of amazing it's hair. It's Wild Horses by the Rolling, by the Rolling Stones. Stones. <laughs> okay, well, I like Gino Vanelli, all right? Uh -huh. But this is, your, yeah. this is your segment, That's so whatever. That's only because Michael Bublé didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Sandy Sharkey, as always, thank you so much for being here. You're, thank you so you're incredible. Much. You inspire so many in this community, and, oh, and I sweet. need to say that publicly, like I need to. Like it's oh, everybody. And knows. I love your laugh. I oh, always yeah. have, and I still do. Sandy thank Sharkey, you very much. Thank, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> we are coming back. We're going to throw this guy in the kitchen. So mm. put your seatbelt on. And uh, we're coming back with a great cause, a great way to dine and uh, support some. some I'm just great basically going to eat, eat on television while our guests answer questions. <laughs> I'm just going to eat. Stick around for more daytime. We'll be right back. <laughs> Next.